find a lethal weapon, a good sized triple hook, a bit of black thread, a little piece, a length of about 12 inches of, I'm using 20 pound braiding strain, usually I go higher, 20-30 pound braiding strain is perfect. Now we'll tie this off. This fly, it's not skillfully tied. It doesn't have jungle cock eyes and beautiful colours in it. It's a very, very basic fly. And it's the best fly that I've ever used for knife fishing, for salmon. Now a little bit of super bond glue. There we go. Simple as that. Now the next thing we need is made our tubing. We fish the two pieces of fishing gut up through the inside of the Maillard tubing like that. Carefully. Just like that. And now we will tie in the end here on our hook. Lovely. Cut this little bit off. Beautiful. Little knot there. That'll do the trick. And again, another little dabble of super glue. There we are, job done. Now, now we get a good sized double arm and we'll fish it through. It depends where you put it as to what size you want to make your fly, but we'll fish it through here. That's a nice size for a fly. I'll actually come back and make it a fraction shorter. So I'll take that back out again and I'll go in about here. Perfect. And we'll put in our hooking device. Now, we pull everything back. Just like that. It looks like a mess, but everything is working perfectly. And we get our thread on again. Just like that. Put 
throw off the bit of thread here and we put plenty of thread on. Fish the two ends like this up through here to make it stronger again. And back down along the hook shank. Lashings of thread, put loads of thread on to make it really, really strong. So there's no way it's going to slip. That'll do the trick. And now the super bond glue. Now we pull our mailer tubing back up over the shank. This fly doesn't have to be nice and neat and tidy. That looks okay. And we cut all this off. Doesn't have to be neat. We're not in any competition for the best fly. No. Looking good. We'll finish it off with a whip finisher. It's very crude. That's the finished fly. The finished fly. The most important element of the fly is the balance of the fly. It has to be balanced. When it's in the water and it's fishing, it has to be on an even keel. It has to be like that. If it twists like that, if the triple hook is too far away from the double hook and it's like that in the water, most fish won't take it. The big wild brown trout that are in the rivers, they will ignore it. They're in the rivers and they're big and they're wild for a reason because no one's caught them. Once the fly is just at the right angle, the fish will hammer it. This fly is only good at night in the dark. It's no good during the day. You get the odd fish on it during the day, but it's no good only in the dark late at night, from dusk until dawn. You get a lot of salmon on it, loads of sea trout on it. Now the Maillard tubing is delicate stuff. And you'd be tempted to say that I'll varnish it and that'll make it stronger. When you varnish it, it ruins the fly. It doesn't work properly. The Maillard tubing as it is, the water goes inside the Maillard tubing of the river. The river water fills up the fly and it fishes beautifully in the water. It's a deadly fly. If you're fishing this fly over very deep water, the fish will come up to it and what happens is because it's so out of its depth it's away from the edges it's away from the gravel it's away it's just vulnerable they'll come up and if they're not very hungry they won't come up and smash and take it sometimes they'll come up and as you're retrieving very slowly you'll get a couple of small little tugs it's a fish looking at it he's not convinced and he's tipping at it and the secret is when you get a little tug you strip it in as fast as you possibly can and that triggers a response from the fish that he'll come after it and he'll hammer it and when they take like that they take it solid and finally 
This fly, sometimes the fish takes the whole fly, brilliant. Sometimes it grabs it by the triple hook at the back and in this bit here in the middle. Between the triple hook and the double, it gets damaged. Of course, by the trout's teeth and it gets damaged. And the beautiful thing about this fly is, once you've got the balance right, and it's balanced perfectly. When the mallard tubing gets ruined and gets uh, and two or three fish will damage it. When that happens, you just get another fresh bit of mallard tubing and you need to tie two knots. Tie it on up near the top eye and tie it on near the triple hook and just leave the mallard tubing as it is. It doesn't need to be the gut going through it, the hook of the shank showing, it doesn't matter. Once it's just tied on and it's balanced perfectly, it's the best fly that I've ever used and I've caught thousands of salmon on it thousands of sea trout and thousands of brown trout. It is the lethal weapon.